Hello, welcome back into the Schematic Watch channel. So, the topic of this video how to simulate a circuit in a KiCad. So, let's do it how we can uh, simulate this circuit. If you want to be see how you can download and install the KiCad in 2025, so then you can follow this video. For uh, simulating the circuit in the KiCad, when you first time run the KiCad 9.0, then you see this interface. Now there is the option of the schematic editor, but here you need to be going to the file and click on new project. Then you write then down your name, file name and click on save. So when you click on save, then this uh, new 2.KiCad uh, Pro it's created and now this is the uh, PCB file automatically created and this is the schematic file automatically created so I simply cl double click on this new to uh, keycat schematic okay now this schematic uh, window is appear in front of me so I think so you first time uh, going to be simulate the circuit so before we move toward how we can simulate the circuit some basics uh, tools which are available and what are the functionalities of these windows so this is the main window okay and this is the canvas where we place our component and we simulate it okay uh, now this is the property windows and you can uh, if you want to be close it then you can close from here different windows you can open like schematic hierarchy window is there and this is the selection fi uh, filter selection filters now uh, there are the selection tools so from this side from the right side you can select the components okay so these are all the selection tools so with so after we move toward the simulation i show you which component which tools are mostly important from here and which we used how we can wire how we can select components so now uh, in the upper portion there is the save options zoom, zoom, in, zoom, zoom out, out options uh, undo options are there and there are the some uh, basic uh, tools which we used so now uh, we start our simulation so for simulation when you first time doing the simulation then you see uh, this is the vertical uh, line or toolbar where there are the multiple tools so this is the place sample so if you press a okay then it's open but uh, also you can open from just clicking on it uh, now this is the window which we use to be selecting the tools so there are the lot of tools which you can select but all tools are not for simulation um, so now uh, for this one first time when you are coming and you, your target is just to be simulate the circuit in the keycat then you just, just need, need to, to be focus on the simulation so I just be write down the spice and when I write down a spice then you see there are the lot of component which is uh, just uh, made for the simulation okay uh, now uh, we need to be choose uh, the different component this is the zero point reference point this is the diode this is the current source uh, and there are the lot of sources are here so if you double click on it then uh, this they are selected and you can place it into the canvas so now first of all I choose the resistor so for a resistor uh, in the previous variants the resistor also involved into the spice like when, like when we write down a spice and here we see the diode so in that way here we see the resistor also but uh, in the latest variant uh, we need to be uh, well, write down R into the search bar and now this is the resistor basic resistors which we use for simulation so double click on it now it is selected so I can when it is in the selection mode right now this resistor is in the selection mode so I can press R okay when I can press class R simply R I press from the keyboard uh, then simply I can place it here okay now I placed the one resistor here again go uh, to the selection tool and now from here I need to be choose the spice I write down spice and in the spice I find out the DC source V DC okay so you can choose in that way write a spice and then write a component which you want to be choose so this is the VDC I choose it 
and place it here and the last and component the, which i want it is the ground component so you can also choose the ground from here um, just simply click on this uh, choose the power samples and there is the simulation spice so you see uh, this is the power so this is the power i'm not showing uh, what's the functionality of it but this is the simulation spice so this is the zero volt reference power simply click on it and paste it here now i just be zoom it for you now this is this uh, component which i placed so i hope so you understand ke how you can choose the component um, in the uh, the keycat software there is the biggest problem like um, you don't be faced in the, in the case of pro tiers so when there are everything have the simulation uh, some some components don't have the pcb footprint but they ha all have a uh, simulation so you don't worry about this one but in the case of keycat there is the uh, different components, components like simulation. simulation components are different and the components which just designed for pcb are different but there are the method you can simulate it but it's not a topic of this one it's advanced level okay so now we just be wired so for a wire this is the wire tool you can choose the wire by pressing a w so this is the wire uh, tool I just be selected so how we can place from one component simply go to the other component wiring is very easy it's not complicated so now in that way you can do the wiring so now after wiring the next one it is the selection tool I choose a selection tool from here and now this is the time to be change the value so changing a value this is the voltage so I want to be double click on it this is the double left click so I do the double left click and this is the sample property open and this is the value portion in the value I change it into the 5 this is the resistor again double click on it and the resistor value it is the 470 okay if you simply press 470 then it's mean 470 ohm if you write 470 m it's mean milli it's mean kilo it's mean mega so i hope so you understand so simply i write down 470 ohm it's mean okay now this is the 470 ohm now in that way we can change the component values now we move toward the simulation now how we can simulate this circuit so i press on this one okay this is the simulator previous in the, previ uh, in the previous variants in uh, you need to be going to the tools and into the tools there is the simulation option okay uh, but right now into the latest variant this simulation option is there okay so this is the simulator click on it now this uh, spice simulator is open and now there uh, you need to be press on this run a simulator button okay so this new simulation tab open and analysis type so they ask you for analysis because there are a lot of analysis which we doing during the engineering this is like simple dc operation point dc swipe analysis ac trans analysis noise sp fft so which analysis you want right now in this video we see the two things simple dc operation points and dc sweep analysis okay so first of all i click on op dc operating point click on it and simply click on ok now you don't be seeing any kind of graph because this is this uh, DC operation operating points so now you see this one current R1 it is this current across the voltage because it is only the series circuit so that's where the current is same this is the power okay in milliwatt this is the voltage 5 volt and this is the power across the uh, resistor the same one so i just be hide this window and now this is your canvas in the canvas you also see uh, minus 10.6 milliampere 5 volt okay because in this terminal 5 volt uh, minus 10.6 uh, milliampere okay um, it's, it's a big deal uh, because in in real life the uh, current across a resistor don't have a polarity it's not a minus it's not plus it's we said neutral not polarity they have but um, in the simulation they mentioning the minus okay because they consider this minus this terminal plus so in for the uh, way they can uh, put down the minus here if i just be wait a second i just copy it 
and I attach it parallel register here the same values in that way it's clear right now there is the r2 uh, the same value so and if i attach the parallel combination of this uh, resistor so what's happening the current going to be increased it's double because the parallel of the same it's mean right now my voltage uh, my resistance is going to be decreased half when the resistance is going to be decreased then your current going to be double so uh, uh, again press on this simulation tool and click on it and after that i hide it so now what's happening right now so they show me the current flowing into the whole circuit uh, like uh, fr from there it's minus 21.3 milliampere so the current is increased but in the both one it is the 10.6 milliampere 10.6 milliampere and you know that when it's reached here then it is the 21.3 milliampere it's going to be double so now if i attached this circuit i i, I just be you know this is the circuit and i attach this circuit in this series so you know so i attach the r1 and r2 in, into the series wise and now we see okay, what's happening again click on the simulation run it and go here and now we see the minus 5 point it's because uh, the when only the one resistor r1 into the circuit then it is minus um, like 10.2 milliampere you say and now it is the 5.32 milliampere it's half of that current and there's the 5 volt and because this is the potential difference created on that point so there is the 2.5 volt uh, at this point so that's where this is the 5 volt and this is the 2.5 volt and, and the, at, at that, that terminal, terminal there is the 0 volt okay so in that way it's happening now this is the time um, I again move it and instead of run it we need to click on this file and new analysis tab okay so in that way you can uh, make a new analysis like uh, because right now we just be seeing the dc operating point okay now this is the time for the uh, dc swipe analysis so what's the dc swipe analysis in the dc swipe analysis we uh, need to be choose the source okay source is v1 it's not second source we choose because in our circuit only we have a one source so it is the v1 starting point what is our starting point for the voltage it's zero and what is our final value it's the 5 volt and increment step uh, i say that it is 0 0.5 volt increment okay now so in that way i click on this ok button and when i click on this ok button and then you see the graph is uh, presenting here but many kind of lines are there so now the voltage on x-axis the current on a y-axis and when i click on ir1 so i hope so you understand this, uh, this resistor r1 so i click the current across r1 run it press run so now we see uh, how it's behave it's in the reverse direction okay in the minus from five okay don't be confused because uh, this uh, into the key cat uh, they behave like the polarity in a resistor but in a real life it's not happening so uh, how i can change it just remove these wires and then i rotate it rotate 180 and again doing the y then they make the polarity right positive okay and again click on simulation and here i click on run now you see from zero to uh, when our voltage reach at the five volt then this is our current across the r1 register okay uh, now right now you don't see any kind of uh, values on this canvas because we're doing this swipe swipe analysis okay sweep analysis we say uh, now after that IR2 I click on this one. So this is the IR2 IR1 is not hide it because it's on the same point. That's where the black is hide it It is the same and on the same point the Green is happening. I just we change the color from here So maybe then you can okay. Now it's not possible to be figure out the both same lines on the same point with the different colors now voltage across the v1 what's the voltage 
it's minus okay uh, frequent cross uh, they're showing it's going into the minus direction that's why okay i just be remove it and uh, if i say voltage so voltage across from battery to the r1 click on it so with passage of the time it's move and now voltage across it it is the 2.5 uh, okay they tell us so if you want to be see the power so across the r1 this is the power okay they show us near about to 10 point something milliwatt and across a pr2 the same power and this is in the minus traction across uh, battery power so this is the dc sweep analysis so i hope like, so you like uh, like it uh, in the last of this one i show you this probe probe sigmatic so in the probe sigmatic if you click on it then they come on the canvas so in the canvas if you place it i place it here okay after placing i need to be open this window so now they show me this one okay so i hope so you like this video please um, share with your friend which want to be ck how they can uh, simulate the circuit in a keycat it's a beginner friendly tutorial so i see you the next time